Good evening. Welcome to our February 18th, 2020 special meeting for budgets. Is uh, Selectman Pendergast is out of town. Is uh, Selectman Ganeer, I believe, is uh, late due to the traveling. Is uh, he, he, I believe he's going to be coming later. Is we have the town manager, the town finance director, human resource officer, librarian, rec department, police department, public works. We have the crew here. We have the crew here. Yeah. Please stand with me and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Veneer is here. Oh, just in time. Come sit next to me. Wow, I wasn't ordered to yet. <laughs> First up, we have Public Works. Tab number eight. Public Works. Um, we have just stuff from the top. Uh, Full time wages gone up based on our union contract, and we added another body in there, yet to be determined. Um, Part-time wages are, uh, have gone up as well. Um, Why such a big increase in the part-time if we added another body? Uh, we, last year we were down to 40,000, but this year, um, <coughs> it be up that much. For the summer help. For the summer help for the construction part aspects of doing the roads and stuff, you know, we need more bodies and then okay, what we I have. just you know, I so, just so we we were taking it out of the construction fund, but we've changed. Oh, it that's why we when Maureen used to do it, she used to take the uh, part time help for what road crews and stuff out of that for out of the uh, road budget. And um, this year we're not doing that. Yeah, it's going to be strictly for wages, for, uh, strictly for okay. construction, which and wages. That way we can track wages better. Thank you, Robert. Um, health insurance again has gone up. We've gone through that. Retirement, uh, salt. We, um, Robert, that we have bumped it up again. Last year we um, asked for 140, and we're. Probably going to be over budget again this year, but uh, I'm asking for 180,000, which is a $40,000 increase. Um, equipment purchases: We're planning on buying a uh, compactor for the road pavement when we patch and do certain things. It's much better than what we have, and I think what we have is old. Um, gas and oil is about the same. Um, building maintenance is up a little bit. And uh, otherwise, uh, looks like a lot, but it's um. Don't have any big trucks, uh, loaders, or well, anything. Well, he, he would like a big truck this year. The last truck we purchased was uh, the, the ten wheeler. That was 2018. 18. Yep. 18. Yeah, so we're we're down. We only have basically three new trucks, but I've put it on hold this year. Um, he would. He could beg for one, but uh, so far we, you know, we're up. The budget's up this year, right? Right. So I'd like to try to keep it down. Well, is that what I told you at the beginning of the season that yeah. you no, know, I'd like to you know we've had a lot of large purchases over the last several years, yeah. trying to catch up, and uh, uh, our expenses on our older trucks are going up. Right. You know, lucky we have a good mechanic, um, and just to just give you an idea, just to replace an exhaust system on these new trucks is ten thousand dollars. You're talking a hundred and eighty thousand dollar truck, so it's rather they are expensive. Um, any questions on public works? We have we have our budgeting just so you know seven hundred thousand for road work this year. Um, I just got estimates from Libby Scott this morning, and um, it's uh, what we had planned. We're at about six hundred and seventy four thousand, so it's where it will cost that much. So. <clears throat> Any questions? Okay. Transfer station. Um, 
part-time wages is up a little bit. We we did give it three percent. Uh, and it's one one person for ten weeks during. That? And it's also one person for 10 weeks for the busy summer season. Okay, and they're adding one person extra, just for 10 weeks. Um, otherwise, uh, the real changes in this are um, in our uh, disposal fees uh, because of what's going on, uh, not what our president has done, but just be the waste, the recycling costs have uh, gone up because uh, China is not taking as much materials and what they are taking has to be 100% uh, clean. Uh, so we're seeing a little bit more uh, increases in that, uh, which increases our um, pull fees because we everybody's doing a great job recycling, but it's also causing us to pull containers out more often. So, um, yeah, you see in, in recycling, it's gone up almost 60,000. Um, going back to the public works, it, it's probably under our capital improvements, but the uh, replacing the uh, fuel tanks. Is, that's, where under, we that, that's under capital and CIP. All right, so. I, we have 20,000 we put aside last year. I put 100,000 in um, because I think we were updating the software to the pumps. So we can uh, automatically pull it. She, the finance office can pull it right offline. Uh, so, yeah, that's that is in there. <coughs> is, uh, when what when would that be done? Is that um, they're going to do that in June, they, they, and they'll bill us. They won't finish it and bill us until July. So it will be in the new year. Okay, but we're going to get it done. But it will be done this year. Yep. Um, now are we put an underground tanks back in. Uh, well, we got to pull the other tanks out, so we right. might as well put them back in. That's kind of my thought. We're gonna we're gonna have to pull those two tanks and dispose of them. And Portland Pump will take care right. of that. Uh, but I don't I don't see to go with the extra expense to to put down uh, concrete pads and fencing and stuff around the containment, the team, all that. Well. So we'll just and then we'd have to move our pumps. Uh, right. So it just makes cost wise much more sense to just dig them out, put the new ones in. Thank right. you. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. I think you're all set then. Okay, great. Uh, recreation will be the next one. <coughs> Thank you, Robert. Yep, you're welcome. And get out and clean the rooms. <laughs> 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 get back to me. <coughs> Recreation this year is a little bit different. Uh, wages are within uh, close to what we had last year. Uh, there is an increase, uh, three percent. Um, the what uh, you'll see there's a lot, a lot more uh, items added in this year. Um, all the all the separate programs we, we've put in the budget, so we know what our expenses are for those. <coughs> So you, what you have for a total this year is 220901 We're going to uh, take 100000 from our uh, revenue uh, for the registration fees and off, use that to offset this budget, which is what those are for. So you'll really only see $120,000 uh, expense on that side. But uh, otherwise, it's all the, everything is, is included in this. Mm -hmm. um, And of course, I think we had to increase our wages for our part-time people because the uh, minimum wage minimum wage went up. Wage one more increase time. is correct. So we do have uh, funding in here for grounds maintenance. It's what we uh, worked out with the uh, um, Noble Youth Baseball. Or the Bur uh, we're doing some. Uh, they're splitting the cost with us on some maintenance to the Memorial Field uh, sports fields. Uh, <coughs> specializes in these kinds of things is going to be doing uh, quite a bit of work uh, working on the infield uh, the youth baseball will pick up the cost 
of um, they're planning on replacing the mounds. Um, but uh, this is our share. Questions of the town manager? Yeah, I'm a little confused. Uh, I see we've got a bunch of things that basically are pay for performance in the budget. And I'm not quite sure how that gets presented because if we put the budget in front of the town to vote on, then they're voting on an amount. But we're paying for perform people are paying for performance, so the town is really not funding those. Yeah. So I don't know not being a finance person, I'm not clear on how that works. Explain that. Okay, so the article will state that the recreation expenses will, will be a total of two hundred and twenty thousand nine oh one. But um, it will also state that a hundred thousand is being used from recreation fees from previous years, and the actual raise and appropriate will be a hundred and twenty thousand nine oh one. Okay, which would pretty much man make up your part time wages and uh, the rest of the stuff above that people would not normally townspeople would not normally pay for. Yeah. Correct, and they still won't. They, I mean, they won't rate pay, pay for it through taxes. People that are using the programs will pay for it. Okay, that that's that would be my concern is that, especially if somebody's got a kid, so now you vote the budget in that includes that, and then he goes off and pays for the kid. So now you're essentially paying twice, whereas the rest of the town is paying once for something that really isn't theirs. So, well, it's always been that way, but it hasn't been shown. But it's, it's not been part of the official budget <coughs> of, you know, I, I understand we're trying to figure out, you know, 50 kids are going to be at summer camp, 75 kids are going to be at summer camp, and that's just an estimate, and they're going to pay for being at summer camp. So how do you clearly do that in a budget that you're presenting in front of the town? I'm, I'm just a little confused on how that gets shown so that the townspeople know what they're voting on and that they're voting on this is what we need to do to make the rec department run and this is what people are going to pay for if they've got kids that are going to attend the programs. So I guess we'll have to write an explanation, a, uh, maybe an addendum to the warrant to explain how that works. Okay. That I'd definitely like to see that because I'm a little confused on how that's that's going to be played out. Uh, are we still doing an after school program? Yes. Yep. Okay, so that's that's all part of it. Is the where where would that fall into this this group only because and and the reason I ask is because if we're breaking out all the rest of the pay for, pay for perf, uh, participation type things, <clears throat> the after school program isn't funded by the school, I don't believe. No. So no. therefore, they're going to pay for it. It's always been taken out of recreation revenues, and it's part of part-time wages now. And the only other expense, really, I believe, is snacks. Okay. so. We've been paying for after-school support, basically by, by our part-time people mm -hmm. that provide that support. Okay. Any other questions on recreations? Not yet. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Library. <clears throat> this is their first round with uh, the library being part of the town. You, uh, again, wages uh, are set. Uh, it just includes three full-time people and two part-time people. Um, and the hours for the full-time will be 
37 and a half or 40? 37 and a half. 37 and a half. Same as the rest of the. But I believe we budgeted for three part time. Three part time, okay. Um, materials and supplies, um, books are included in this, publications. Um, they're all getting health insurance, so that's a new line for them. Um, and then the uh, le you know, electrical costs. Again, it's, this is all new for us, but uh, it's based on what their usage has been. Yes. So uh, there isn't a lot more to it at this point. Uh, we will be doing some, uh, we'll be doing plowing for the driveways and salting for the driveway, things like that. <clears throat> Are we doing that right now? Excuse me? Are we doing that right now no. or not until next no, year? No, no. So they're paying a service to come do that? Yep. Okay. So Any other questions? I mean, it's a pretty straightforward budget. It's, uh, yeah. it's we kind were of exciting that how, how many hours you're going to increase <coughs> a day. Actually. So we're open 28 hours now, and we're going to increase to 43. That's Good. pretty awesome. That's great. Yeah. So does this budget take into account the uh, 109 that we had under a miscellaneous? That we're reducing. Yeah, that's we we took that out of miscellaneous. Okay, you took it out of miscellaneous. Yeah. So now it's part of this. It's part of this. Okay. Yeah. Any further questions? No. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, thank you for your work. Definitely. It's, yeah. it's been uh, really growing. I know that of the more and more cars parked there. So you can see we the town is um, very supportive and. We have to turn people away at this point, and that's, we're really at a crossroads that we just need more hours so we can allow the Girl Scout troops to use the, the room and the art association to come in. And right now we're, we're juggling and we, we have to tell people, I'm sorry, there's no place. We have a program, we have robotics, we have this happening, that happening. So this is gonna be wonderful for everyone in, in the yeah, town. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. BCTV. This, I, just so the public knows, this is not a tax paying program. This is got all taken care of through uh, uh, revenue, uh, the uh, franchise fees. So, um, again, uh, this is a small budget for, I think, for all that's done. But 3% raise on the uh, full-time director. And a little bit of an increase on part-time wages. Hopefully, uh, continues to add more people to find who would like to do some more of this. Um, there's only one person getting health insurance. And... I am looking to add an assistant this next year. So what I did is I took out the videographers, the video editors piece, and put that into the assistants piece. Um, and they would also cover for me during vacations and that type of thing so that Tom doesn't want me to bring my laptop when I go <laughs> on vacation. Um, and then... She still will. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then drone operators, which we haven't had in the past, um, but we've found that they're really exciting to see when they go over the fire station section or once we start the prime spot. Um, you know, yeah. that's, that's where we're looking to use those. I've been very impressed with some of the drone footage. Yeah. It's looked really it's nice. It's been really nice. You see any equipment maintenance? Is that, why is that going up? Um, so equipment and services, um, the Telview care contract, uh, the first year was free, uh, and I got a call last week saying that in April it would be due again, and now we have to start paying. Um, so it increased by 3233 What I did is negotiated a four-year contract with an out if we need to. 
um, and what they did is they took, so the first year is your heaviest year, and then it, they reduced each year. They spread it out over the four years and said, this is what you pay each year for the four years, whether you pull out in your third year or not. And the only reason I asked for that is depending on what happens with franchise fees. Um, you know, whether BCTV will be able to continue will depend on the franchise fees. And those are going down approximately $500 per quarter right now. Um, so I saw a reduction in August of 416, reduction in November of 537, and a reduction in February of 698. Um, and that's a trend that will more than likely continue. Is this from people cutting cable? Yes. Yeah. And unfortunately, the way the FCC has worded things now, we cannot charge even though those cable lines feed into your internet, we get no monies from that. They still cross our properties, but we can't get any monies from it. We can only get them from cable television. Um, so my thought is, and uh, we do have, um, just so you know, um, a new bill before the legislature, which we're trying to fight to take these things back out. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of hope right now, but I'm writing my letters to my congressmen and senators, and, and uh, I would ask that if you would like to, I'll send you the information as well, um, just to, to hopefully get a little bit changed. Um, and the specific one is going to be the fees that they charge us or they could charge us for the line drop at the fire station, at the police station, at the schools, for me here. Um, the in-kind fees is what they're calling them. Hmm. Any questions of BCTV? No. Thank you. Thank you. Police is next. We've seen an increase in wages. Is it just contract negotiations uh, drove that this year. Um, there's a other few items that uh, a little bit more than three percent I put in this year for non-union staff. Um, Part-time wages is up. Um, I think uh, probably that he's trying to attract. We're down on reserve officers, so we're trying to attract. Uh, more people, but always a battle this economy. Overtime is up a little bit this year, and I think that's just driving, driven by the wage increases, um, along with health insurance going up. Equipment purchases, um, I think you have Justification sheets. I hope. Did we ever get the uh, simulator? We did. How's that working out? Good. Um, we're just get, getting ready to start putting the guys through, um, when I say guys, the officers, um, monthly um, through training. And District 1 Training Council um, that Captain Locke uh, attends for our department. He's going to come take a look at it to um, expose it to the rest of York County. Good. Good. This year, uh, there's been an increase in the lease payment. Usually the first year we start the lease is done uh, through the CIP. And then the following year, he picks it up in his operating budget. Uh, so that's why you have an $18,000 increase there. Um, this coming budget, we only have uh, one car that we're purchasing, it's always two and then one the following year. So uh, and that will be in this budget again the uh, following year. He's got quite a few items on the uh, capital improvement 
um, listing. This should be in the packets. We'll go through them. Um, we have to do some radio upgrades. Replace a taser. It's time uh, to replace firearms this year. Um, and um, the training room needs to get rid of some pretty antiquated uh, furniture and, and replace that. That's being used a lot more lately uh, for a lot of different things. We have three laptops that are scheduled to be replaced and also one server and modems. So uh, all that's uh, in a CIP and we'll go over that where that funding is going coming from. Any questions? Are we at full manpower now? We are, um, other than part-time employees, mm -hmm. full-time staff, yes. Very fortunate to be that way. So right, right. So for, for so many years, it's been yeah. chasing another guy, yeah. chasing another guy. And Most departments are. Yeah. So, so and, uh, it's good to hear that we're there. And it doesn't seem like anybody's um, looking, although there's opportunities all over the state, but um, I have a good staff, and they seem to be content at the time. So it's good. With the replacement of the firearms, do you get money back for the old firearms or they get sold off? Um, they're traded in. Um, that's how we reduce the cost of the actual um, trading out. Uh, we try to do it every five to six years, which is what we were recommended to do uh, through the main chiefs. We had a review um, in 2009. This is the sixth year with the current firearms. So what we have now gets traded in. That's reduced from the cost of the actual new weapons. And that puts new weapons back on the, back in the officer's hands. So, questions? Any other questions? Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go to miscellaneous. earlier the library association was taken out of this budget uh, this year we have stormwater uh, expenses coming up um, economic development I thought we did this last week didn't we do miscellaneous last week so okay that's good we don't have to do it then yeah. and we did debt service last week yes the only mm -hmm. thing we have left is transfers Right. Okay. Um, I can go through the capital uh, budget that we're, we're looking at. This year, uh, we've gone through the uh, police department, fire department, again, they're Replacing radios this year, um, the SB, SCBA bottles, which is a $5,000. We do that every single year to replace uh, air tanks. Personal protective gear, uh, this is another one we do every year, $12,500. Um, this year there's a request, uh, Dennis has a request for a uh, CPR machine, which is uh, 35000 It's very expensive, but uh, he feels it's time to replace what they have. And, and Start doing it, doing that. Um, I'm also, uh, he always puts $50,000 aside for his uh, older equipment in, this, in his reserve. Uh, this year I'm putting 100000 in because of what we just had a truck go to New Haven, which he talked about last week, which is costing us quite a bit of money. And that expense is coming out of that account, so it's drained it quite a bit. So I want to make sure we have enough you know, money in there to fix some of our older trucks. Um, uh, otherwise, um, the road budget, like I had said earlier, um, is uh, at uh, 700000 um, This year, I, we have a fairly healthy um, reserve account that we can use for uh, the 12.5 that we have to keep on hand of our undesignated fund balance. That gives us... Uh, uh, 
probably about 1.5 million that we could spend uh, on other items. Uh, but again, I'd, I'd like to leave a big part of it there, but spend 3,000, 300,000 on an elevator. Uh, that's a rough uh, idea. Uh, they haven't got back to me with what they think is a concrete price. Uh, 400,000 of this, uh, of the road budget, I'd like to take out of this account. And also uh, the 120,000 for rating heat. Uh, for the, uh, you weren't here for that, I think, last meeting. Yeah. But uh, we found ourselves with the fire station uh, structure um, that we're going to be over budget if we put radiant heat in. And, I, and I'm an advocate that we need to have radiant heat in the apparatus bay. So when the trucks come in off the road, we have that heat drying them off and preventing rust and all of you know. So it's very, I think, crucial to have that. So I'm hoping that we don't need it, but I'm a little bit more optimistic than Tom. Um, so we're going to put it in there anyway, and if we don't need it, we won't use it, which would be nice. Um, also, some of the other uh, capital uh, ideas that I mentioned to you, I'm thinking of actually uh, using that. It's 354000 and using uh, the, cap the undesignated fund balance to offset that too. So it doesn't come, doesn't come out of the taxpayers. But uh, we'll go through that when we do the warrant. But, um, and the fuel tank and, and software will come out of there. But we have a lot, on our, a lot on our plate. A lot of things need to be done and replaced. Is uh, going back to the road fund, um, is <clears throat> what roads are included? You said you got estimates from Libby Scott today. Oh, yeah. Your road's the most expensive one. Uh, we got Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Cemetery Road, um, the backside of Pine Hill, where we ended last year, up, you know, to, Worcester up to Worcester Road. Um, we're doing a section of Cranberry Meadow that's falling apart. It's between Cemetery and Worcester Road. We're tearing that up and uh, putting down a two-inch uh, base. Um, we are also doing um, lo finishing Logan Road and uh, sections of uh, Long Swamp that need to be torn up. It's, it's awful. It's, uh, and same thing with Little River Road. We have two sections, they on, uh, both, one on each, that are in terrible condition. And uh, they just, I think we might be able to get away with shim and overlays on num most of it. But I, the minute I mentioned that in my monthly or by Tom Manager's report, I got a response that it needs to all be torn up and, and rebuilt. You know, is, 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 I'm, I'm not a big fan of shim and overlay. Uh, most parts is uh, especially especially Little River Road yeah. is uh, it, it's really bad. It is know, bad. So. It's just that a bandaid on a broken leg is all yeah. it ends up being. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm, I try to be very <laughs> diligent about looking at roads and making sure we have a solid base before we shim an overlay. And, and we've done an awful lot of uh, ripping up and re rebuilding roads. roads. Yes. But the ones that we can say, like Old Sanford Road, is one that we'll eventually get to. Maybe not this. Not this year for sure, but probably next year. And along in Guinea Road and parts of Blackberry Hill Road that are in relatively good shape. Right. And we can extend their life with Shipman Overlay. And it's a little bit less expensive. Tearing up roads gets costly. But uh, we'll stay ahead of it as much as we can. So, any questions? Last year, you had mentioned something about trying to do the roads earlier. Is that going to happen this yeah, year? Yeah, now I've got. <laughs> it, we say that every year. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Now I've got an idea of, of the relative costs. I plan on putting them out within the next two or three weeks, the bid packages, and see what I can get for prices. We we actually have talked about going to New Hampshire to some of the paving companies there to see if we can get a better price. Um, it's it's, a, but I know everybody's paying. Dearly. And yeah. not that Libby Scott hasn't done a good job. They've done a great job for us, but it's <clears throat> it is expensive. <coughs> and, and sometimes the response time isn't all that great. Yeah, they've did a little bit better this year, but yeah. last year was awful. Right. Uh, There's one capital uh, improvement thing that you didn't mention. Uh, the the uh, rec field parking lot situation. 
Yes, that is coming out of impact fees because that's new construction. Mm -hmm. um, and as soon as the ground thaws and, and uh, uh, Will Reno and his group were planning on doing it, it's very small. They just have to uh, put in some drainage pipe along that uh, left-hand side and put in some swales and then reseed it. Um, so it shouldn't take them very long to do that, but that's in the spring. We didn't have enough time to do it this they, year. And they are taking that tree out as well, right? Yes, yeah. we're taking that tree out. It's pretty well dead. Yeah. Um, and we're going to move the entryway over that way so it's in the center, away from both sides of each row. Yeah, the, the design we have, I think, is what, 68 parking spots? 68 parking spots, yeah. Well, and the public Works, one side. I'll see if Will, Will can do it, but Public Works can move the granite we have, and we got granite, extra granite from the um, Esterbrook school site. So we have a little bit more than we thought we would. So we'll be, we'll be able to use it. Any cool. questions? Any further questions? Mm -hmm. Anything from you? I guess that's it. That's it. End of meeting.